Hello Terraria Enthusiasts, my name is James and welcome back to the Let's Play of the Lunatic Mod. So welcome back, it's day three and we really, really need to get a move on because I'm running out of days. Let's actually go check that and I have made very little progress. I am a, I'm a bit of a faff. So we have six days remaining. Six days until the world ends. That's it. It's all of a goner. Um, so what I'm going to grab right now is I'm going to speak to my brand new demolitionist and I'm going to buy some bombs. Now, you may be wondering why am I buying so many bombs? Well, it's actually because between this episode, well, the last episode and this one, I got a little notification saying that a meteorite has spawned. So I thought, you know what? Let's go grab ourselves some meteorite armor because when I was breaking the uh, the little orbs in the crimson biome, I completely forgot that you could get some meteorite uh, because I was so not used to playing crimson worlds. I was like, yeah, meteorite, that's not a thing. Usually though, it's not that sudden, so we've gotten pretty lucky with that. So welcome back. It's nice for you to join me again. The support on the first episode and the second was uh, was definitely appreciated. Uh, I appreciate that you guys are at least aiming for or trying to get to that 1,000 like mark. Um, it's just a nice mark, really, and uh, and it shows YouTube you like what you watch. So today I have a uh, I've got a new part of the saga of the post office, right? Because as you guys know, I was moaning in the last episode about going to the post office and it being shut at 2 o'clock. Like, what, what's that about? What, what is that even about? Still kind of getting over it. Well, the new part of this saga is that I went there today, right? I got up real early. I'm like, I've got the car today. That's all right. I'm going to walk because, you know, walk and healthy. New year, new me. I mean, I walk all the time anyway. I really like walking. <laughs> I find walking the most relaxing thing in the world. If you've got some headphones on, if you haven't got headphones on, it's pretty disastrous. Anyway, it's real nice. It's a good time. So I get there nice and early. You know, I, I kind of leave the house a little bit earlier than normal just to go. And uh, and as I open the door to the post office, I look at the sign. It's open till 7 o'clock today. Why? Why 2 o'clock on every other day but this one? I mean, what's today? Today's Wednesday, right? Why today? Why do you need to be open till 7 o'clock today? Why only one day out of the week? Tell me, post office, because it's getting uh, infuriating. Why couldn't you have just left my post office uh, package in the garden, like I asked? Anyway, that's that's that part over. But what you guys are really going to like is what I'm doing after today's episode, because this is really on brand, right? Guess where I'm going? Account shop. Like, it's not even a joke. I'm off to account shop. The channel's called Chippy's Couch for a reason, guys. Uh, I like couches. But no, for real, I'm actually off there. So I bought a couch a couple of years ago. It was a big purchase. Probably the biggest purchase I've ever made until the day I bought a car. Buying a couch is very expensive. When they tell you, being an adult, you know, being an adult. <laughs> I couldn't even get my words out. That's not being an adult. They're like, be an adult. Get a house, get a couch. No, they're really expensive. So anyway, I got a couch and I was very pleased with it. And it's been a little while since then. Maybe it's been about a year and a half since I bought my first couch. Well, I'm, uh, I'm looking at it and I'm like, it could do with a little bit more. So I'm off to the couch shop today to go and grab myself a third part of the couch, right? What do they call them? A foot? What is it? Is it a footstool? A puffet? Is that what they're called? Basically, it's just a large square of fabric and you put your feet up on it. But my room is looking a little bit bare because I've got a pretty large... Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably like my girlfriend <laughs> messaging me about the couch shop. Amazing. Um, sorry if you thought your, your iPhone went off then. Uh, but yeah, anyway, so I'm like, my room's looking a little bit big. So I've got a pretty big living room. It's not a lot in it. I mean, I look furniture poor, essentially. But uh, I was just like, well, let's add some more to it. It's a pretty cheap upgrade to, to just add a little bit more flair to my life. Okay, so the reason I was off all the way to the to the left, obviously, was to look for meteorite. But I did, in fact, get some flippers and an iron skin. This is probably what I'm more thankful for because I haven't got any kind of station set up to uh, to grab potions yet. So I'm I'm really appreciating the the iron skin. But I am off couch shopping tonight, and that is very exciting because it's a pretty big purchase. But then it's also kind of not. It's a small purchase to add to a big purchase. That's what I like about it. It's like when you build a PC for the first time. I don't know if you guys have ever built a PC. And you're like, this is amazing. And a year later, you're like, okay, it's a little bit slow. But instead of having to buy, like, the whole thing again, you just add a little thing to it. And it gets a little bit better. So I hope you've all been well. Uh, oh, right. <laughs> if I'd have only just gone this way, this would have made more sense. Thank you, though, game, for absolutely destroying my biome. Because this looks dreadful. 
I used all my gel on uh, on bombs. I should have used it on the dynamite. Right, we'll use one stick of dynamite. I said this many a time, but the best thing they did in, in 1.3 is they made meteorite just so large. <laughs> like, you just get so much meteorite for one area. Like, back in the day, you could not make a full set of meteorite using one meteorite. You would have to use multiple, multiple, multiple. We live in a good world. Okay. Pistol. Come oh, I didn't have my pistol equipped. Hey. All right. got to be really careful because I actually want to die because I just want to get this done. I'm really thankful for the pistol because the pistol is going to make good work of this. Why am I still on fire? God, you were on fire for ages. What's with this fire buff? Whoop. Up there and there. Okay. I can't really... Ooh, I was going to say, I can't really grab a lot of it because I'm going to die. <laughs> I should probably put a campfire down. Wait, okay. Oh, yeah, I keep forgetting about the water machine. I'm sorry, the broken washing machine. I didn't, I didn't realize I had Sharknadoes. I know it's cheeky, but, uh, but it is what it is. We won't use it during boss fights. I mean, I'm surviving just fine with it. I just like having it. The aesthetic's real nice. <laughs> okay, uh... All right, I can go down and grab that. And I can also grab this. No, please. I don't want to die. Okay. Right, where's my nurse? Nurse, where are you? You're over here. Okay. Come here. Stop that Sharknado from spawning. Right, so just then, I grabbed 129 pieces. This might be enough. It might not. So this should be our first set of armor. Okay, so that's 42 pieces. So one, two... And we need a little bit more. Let's grab a little bit more. Okay, this is probably going to be it. So I got 140 pieces. That's going to make another... F That's so much. I barely even touched the surface with it. So I need a helmet and a space gun. This used to be like my default go-to when I would make um when I would make anything to do with uh, expert mode stuff. If you know what I mean. This used to be my default setup. I'm like, should we make another one? See if we can get a better debuff. Go on then. Murderous. Oh, okay, so that was really worth it. That was good, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to equip all that, and then I'm going to go to this merchant man here. Hello, merchant man, and I'm going to sell you whatever we've got left, because I don't need it. Yeah, okay, really cool. I've also got two more of these chests. I'm sorry about these Sharknados. I'm trying to justify their existence, but it's not looking too good, is it? They're looking a little bit overpowered, and I'm very sorry. At least at the minute, we're only... Uh, just chilling around. So I wanted to do something to make the uh, the progress go a little bit faster today. So I started mining down into a new area just to see if I can find anything new. And I did find something. And the second I found something, I was like, right, got to leave because otherwise you guys won't believe me that I've even found it. Uh, so that's where we're off now. We're going to go down to this little island, uh, to this little area down below. And, uh, and take a look at what we've got. So these chests are getting full pretty quick. Once again, this is all the useful stuff. And the other chest is not. So one of the things I'm really lacking right now is gel. I really need gel. So I'm just quickly doing a little scan. If there's any gel in here. Uh, nope. Is there any gel in here? I don't see any. Yeah, I'm running out of gel. And I need gel to get um, <laughs> to get the next thing. Let's see if it wants that. I also really want to check something real quick. Is this going to go into the chest? That's what I want to know. Because if it goes into the chest, then I've definitely put it away. Okay, it doesn't. Right. Interesting. Anyway, down we go. So, the goal is to do King Slime. That's right. King Slime. That's what we're going to do. Um, but to do that, I'm going to need a little bit more gel. That's literally what I'm trying to get, is just gel. That's all we're lacking in now. So, I've got to be really careful. See, I don't need to waste that. And to not make any more uh, any more torches. But other than that, we might be good to go. If I can get some more life crystals, that's going to help me out a lot. Uh, <laughs> but if I can't, this might be a bit of a tough fight. I've got two ways of doing this fight. You've got n number one. Oh god, that's a nymph. You've got way number one, which is like you um, you make a rope. No, 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 no. You make a rope. And uh, then you use that... Oh my god, why is there everything here? Sorry, real quick. You get on a rope and you throw grenades at it until it dies. That's a really good method. But now that we've got this, we also have a method of like... We can actually just shoot the King Slime. Alright, very thankful for the uh, for the, for the the gem uh, the gel there. I almost said gems. 
Okay, is there anything else here? There might not actually be anything down here. This is just all I got to. I saw the life crystal and I was like, right, time to bail. Time to time to check out. Is there anything around here that we might be able to use? Let's go this way a little bit. Let's let's mine this out. We've got a little bit of time. I tell you what, I just want to say, I really appreciate you guys hanging out with me for like 20 something minutes a day. Because I was thinking about it and I was like, that is that is quite a lot of time. And I was thinking about like all the stuff I've been procrastinating on. Because there are loads of things in this world that if I just spent 20 minutes doing each day, I think I would, uh, I'd be a better human. And one of them is reading. So I used to love reading. When I was in college, I did a uh, an English literature A-level. And I really enjoyed it. I mean, I didn't get the, the most amazing grade in the world. I'm sure you can imagine. Uh, but it was passable. It was fine. I didn't really put in the effort. That was my big problem. Um, <laughs> but anyway, I used to really enjoy reading. And then I kind of stopped because I stopped wanting to store books because I was running out of space when I moved into my uh, my first flat, which was like just after college. But I want to get I want to get into it again. So I went and bought The Hobbit the other day when I was ill. I was like absolutely like, as you guys know, I had the flu. And, uh, and I opened the first page and I was like, blah, blah, blah. Bilbo Baggins, whatever, Bilbo Bilbo, uh, and then I just fell asleep, <laughs> like, not even a page in, so I've got to go back to it, and, uh, and I think that could be something we could do in the series, I could recite a little bit of, uh, of The Hobbit to you every day, it's not a very big book, I wouldn't say, it's probably, like, a good four, or five hour read, if that, and in book terms, in my opinion, that is pretty, uh, that's pretty low, right, a big book to me is, like, ten hours plus, do you know what's mental, though, my sister, my older sister, she reads a lot, and I really do mean a lot. Like, she'll read, like, five, six books a week, and you go into her room, and it's just filled with a million books. It's kind of incredible. <laughs> it actually is. So I just want a few more life crystals. That's all I'm really aiming for. Ooh, okay, or a clown the bottle, clown the bottle. Fingers crossed. Oh, 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 it's a lotto every time you play. It is. I feel like Red's trolling us. I'll take this, though. Oh, and there's also a slime down there, so I'll take that. Ooh, two slimes. Nice. Free gel. How many gel do I need? I think it might be 20. Is there anything else around here? Any more Any more houses you want to give me game just to, just to help me in my progression today? So I've only got a few days left, and I'm kind of squandering time. Is there a glow stick? Have I got a glow stick? Let's throw a few glow sticks. Is there anything down there? It looks like just a bit of water, so I don't think there is. I did get two life crystals, so that's all good. I'm going to just explore a little bit more. Because I really would just want to check out what's in the world. That's my thing. So, in the mail today, this kind of shocked me. So, I got, I got Dead Cells today for the Nintendo Switch. I didn't get it when it first came out. A lot of people said get Dead Cells. I'll tell you why I didn't get it. Because I knew I was going to play it on the Nintendo Switch. And when it came out... The developer said in a Reddit post, Hey, we didn't expect the Nintendo Switch edition to sell well, so we didn't put a lot of effort into it. And this is their words, essentially. They were like, we didn't put a lot of effort into it. Uh, we made a bad port because we didn't think it would do well. So soon, we'll do some updates and we'll make it a good game. And I thought, okay, well then soon maybe I'll buy your game. So it went on sale. And this is mental. This is what I didn't expect. I ordered it on Amazon. Maybe about 11, maybe midnight last night. I was up late. I was just browsing. And I was like, right, maybe it's time to pick up Dead Cells. I woke up and it had arrived. Like, how is Amazon doing this? It's, it's like poor labor quality. That's really what it is. But I was very surprised. We live in a very crazy world. I mean, like when I was a kid, Amazon existed, but nobody was using it. Nobody was using eBay. You know, if you wanted a game, you had to get on the bus. You had to go down to your game shop. You have to get scammed out of 50 quid for, like, some kind of janky scratched version of a disc, which is always what they were. It has weird manuals or whatever. Oh, God, sorry. I'm just being quiet now because of the spiders. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, if I can survive this, I'll be happy. God, there are two dart traps in here. Why do you need spiders and two dart traps? <laughs> this game's like, nope. Going to make this real hard for you. I'm just going to get crushed by a boulder. You watch. Any second now. This is good, though. This exploring is good because I feel like we're going to get something good here. Oh, oh. Okay, and away we go. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I grabbed the bucket for some lava and I haven't grabbed lava at any point in the series. So I will grab some soon. Hey, okay. 
Right, this might be perfect because I think what we're about to get is one chest and then we might get a second one in the marble biome. Fingers crossed. Oh, it's an extractor. That lottery sucks. Okay, tornadoes, you should probably quit. <laughs> you should probably get out of here. You're making me look bad. Why are there so many fish bits everywhere? Yeah, let's go up to this marble one. Let's go check this out. Up we go. Okay, let's see. All right, nothing in there. Still, though, lots of potential for things. That's why I like to say, oh, is there going to be something in here? No, okay, this leads into the same thing. I really need a cloud in a bottle. I'm not going to be able to do that. I, I know me. <laughs> like, I won't be able to do the Eye of Cthulhu until I have one. So that's why I'm spending a lot of time today, like, just gearing up. I mean, I know we're running out of time, but I think if I can kill this King Slime, which I've got high hopes of doing, I think we'll be fine after that. Is that just lava? All right, that's just lava. I haven't checked up up here yet. Oh, it's just a circle. <laughs> it just circles back on itself. Okay. Hmm. Well... We have explored quite a bit. I think this might be it for exploring uh, for now. I think what we should go and do is literally get set up for a boss fight. So, is this the beginning of a day or the beginning of a new night? That's what I'm wondering. It's been about... How long have we, we've been recording about 18 minutes, almost. So, what I'm going to do is... I'm going to take... I've only got nine gel? Why is gel suddenly so hard to find? What is going on? <laughs> Can I buy gel from anywhere? Is, is there any gel masters around? I can't buy gel. <laughs> that's not good. Hmm. That's really not good. Well, I think what we're going to have to do then is to... Oh, a goblin army? Can you get a mask from the goblin army? I don't know if you can, but if you could, that could be really good for us. Because that's like rocket boots, it's everything else. But the only problem is, I have a limited amount of days. So I need this to hurry up. Hmm. What should we do? Should we go to the... Should we go kill jungle slimes? I think that might be best. I think it might be best if we go kill jungle slimes. Because they're probably going to keep spawning in like the boatload. I always seem to get a lot of jungle slimes. And that's going to give us the chance to... Because I could do this event, right? It's not, it's not a too hard of an event. It doesn't really matter though just yet. Because if I'm running out of time... What I need to do is I need to get my slime... <laughs> I never thought that this would be a point of tension. Gel. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do a little jump cut just to save my voice because I've been talking for a long time. Uh, I'm just going to travel to the jungle. I'm going to get my, my bearings a little bit and we'll do some exploring in there. But it'll give me like a second to just, you know, take a breath. All right. I went to the jungle. I got my 20 gel by, uh, by doing jungle slimes, like I said. So my goal now is to, I have to stomp out this event because obviously like I can't do a boss fight during it because it's going to kill me, but it will give me access to the Goblin Tinkerer, which I'm going to use in the next episode. So in case I don't get my cloud in a bottle straight away, because I mean, we could be spending six days and I'll never get one. Uh, we can use the rocket boots to, you know, do a little bit more action. So now that I've got everything that I need, I'm going to quickly smash through this. It won't take long. Uh, and then I'll make my summoning device, and then I'll probably go for the grenade and space gun method with um, with the rope, just because we're running out of time and I don't want to risk it now. You know, so I can't really pull off any flash moves, right? So I've got to kind of rely on this and rope. You'll see. You'll see the method if you haven't already seen it. It's pretty fluky. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. This is not good. This is one thing I mentioned at the start. You can't let your lunatic cultist be killed because otherwise you can't submit boss masks. Right. We need to make sure he stays well protected. So I've got to get this done literally as fast as I can and keep everyone safe. This is so hard. <laughs> like, I didn't expect this extra layer of difficulty. Oh my god, I did it. <laughs> it felt like doing the uh, the goblin, uh, sorry, the old man's army. Because I was just kind of centered around this one thing. Trying to protect it from either sides. Okay, right. Now that that chaos is over, I'm going to have a goblin tinkerer tomorrow. So that's great. I've also got 12 gold. I've got a slime crown. I got some gel. This is looking good. This is, this is, this is looking good. And look at that. More gel. Okay, it's secured. We can go back. This is going to be good. I have a good feeling about this. No negative thoughts. <laughs> this is going to be fine. 
Right, so I'm going to buy some grenades real quick. I'm also going to slap down a piggy bank because I just know me. I'm going to lose all my money if not. So slap that down. Smack all that money in there. This is going to be good. We're going to submit our first boss mass today. I swear it. Right. <laughs> uh, where's our demo man? Where is he? Did he? Oh, he's... Why are you down there? What are you doing? <laughs> I need help <laughs> with this event. I need some grenades. Can you please get it settled, man? What are you doing down here? Holla. Hi. Can I buy some grenades? Thank you very much. 30 Granadas. Okay. Uh, let's go up. We're going to jump over this hole. This is going to be good. So what I did was I put a few platforms over here so that I could kind of circle back on myself if I needed to. So this is going to be the arena area. I'm just wondering how high can I make this without it jumping off? Okay. Uh, we'll go with that. I don't have any buffs. I think it would be dumb to do this without some boss because everything's relying on this now because the days are running out. Uh, so I'll take one regen and one swiftness. I'm going to save that iron skin. I can make more. It's just that I don't have the time to really think about it. We can't use the, the, the washing machine. The washing machine's a no-go. Let's do this. We got this. Back onto the cheating pole. Here we go. Why did I do that? Sorry, I'm just realizing I grabbed one, two regen and not swiftness. Sorry, I'm just being a moron. Okay. Right, you start low. I think that's the trick. I think the trick is you start low on the cheating pole and then the game doesn't realize what you're doing. Can it reach me? No. Okay, this is the perfect one. All right, this is fine. This is it. Oh, oh no. Please. I did not expect this. Can you not? It's going to teleport. There you go. Right. I'm not fast enough. I don't know if I am, actually. That's it. Oh, no. We need to get it away from the lunatic. Oh, no. I'm going to have to get it to get away. Oh, please. If I run past it, will it just teleport straight away? Yay. Okay. We did good, guys. We did good. We did good. All right, I'm out of uh, grenades. Come on. Right, this is good. This is going really well, actually. I didn't have to use the uh, the cheating rope, so I'm happy about that. Okay, and I didn't kill my lunatic cultist, so I'm pleased about that. Right, there we go. And gel for days, lads. There we go. That's actually really good. I'm, I'm so happy we did it. So let's find out how much extra time we have been given. Let's go do it. Let's kill these slimes off first. Uh, recall potion. Thank you very much, but no. Right, let's let's grab some more of this gel. Just in case I ever want to redo this. This might be actually really good at gaining money. The thing is, you can only submit a mask once. It's not like I could just keep doing the, uh, the Slime King until, you know, time runs out. You have to literally do one, uh, one boss ago. Huh, okay. Well, we did really well. I'm pleased. So we'll go give this over. It contains latent spiritual essence. So we had six days. The end is nigh. For a small tax exempt donation, I can tell you your fortune during your last days on this planet. Give boss mask. A genuine slime mask. Much thanks. A bit sticky to the touch though. I require 14 more masks. So it gave us two days? Is that it? Really? Oh, this is going to get tense. I thought... I don't know how hard I thought it would be, but I definitely think it's going to be harder now. So two days. So that definitely means we have to do uh, Eye of Cthulhu tomorrow and the Brain of Cthulhu. Now, I don't do Brain of Cthulhu very often. So if you have any tips, please let me know in a comment down below. Help me out. Right, that's it for today's episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, uh, please be sure to click that like button. It means a lot. I know it's only a small thing, but it does go a long way. Right, see you all tomorrow, guys. Peace.